Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, excitement is in the air for Dominican Republic investors, business owners, all people that are trying to do business inside Dominican Republic. All-time new records all across the board for the month of August, a record. For January 1st of 2023 through August 30th, 2023, tourist and cruise all-time records. Are you coming along for the ride because you have an opportunity high demand? That could be a good thing for everybody thinking about business. And welcome. Stop struggling now, gear. Check. And please like, subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and once again, I thank you so much for being here. Please share the videos because there's a lot of people looking for real estate, business, and to do business in the Dominican Republic. They need to know what's happening, and there's a lot of people that does not know what's happening. There's a lot of people that do not realize high demand is what spares the economy. If they're doing it by tourism right now, then so be it. Will they reach the goal of eight million passengers arriving in the DR this year? Clearly, there's still September, October, November, and December, four months to go. Clearly, they're going to reach that record when you include cruise. We don't want to include cruise if you own real estate there and you're worrying about prices going up. What we want to see is that number, eight million to be air passengers only. Once they reach that plateau, now we're talking about something. But how about this? What if they reach 8.5 to 9 million next year in 2024? What if they go 9.5 to 10 million in 2025? That is a great thing for everybody that's in the Punta Cana La Romana region. Why do I say that? Because 60 to 65% of all air travelers go through the Punta Cana Airport. And when you add the La Ramana Airport with their 1% to 3 or 4%, depending on the month, you could be at 60 to 65% so far. This could change over time. Another airport could come in, which is probably going to happen international airport i'm referring to now let's get to the numbers shall we here it is ladies and gentlemen you guys are getting it quickly and early dominican republic shatters all tourism records as country skyrockets in popularity in case you don't understand that and you've never seen any of our videos before well here's the reason trip advisor 2023 People that have booked on TripAdvisor, guest, general population, they had a vote on the top 20 best tourist destinations. Guess what happened? Number nine is Dominican Republic. How sweet is that? That's all I can tell you, right? You don't need to know anymore. But that was about three months ago when the voting occurred. What do you think happened over the summer? Again, all-time record highs on tourists every month this year. It's only going to continue. Why? Because there are going to be additional air traffic coming in and out of Dominican Republic. And there's one other thing. If there was a certain war that ended over in Eastern Europe, 
that would include an additional 200,000 to 400,000 people arriving in the DR annually. Think about that. This doesn't even include that region that we could be missing somewhere 200 to 400 to 500,000 people that would normally come from the surrounding countries. Think about all that while you stay excited. All right. Tourism sector, ladies and gentlemen, that is what is happening. Unprecedented feat. The country welcomed an astounding 7 million visitors in just eight months. Next year, it will be 8 million visitors in eight months. Mark my words. Everybody thought I was crazy when I started saying this two years ago and three years ago. And last year, everybody keeps saying, Eric, they cannot keep doing this. Let's get this straight. They will keep doing it. They have a blank canvas of a lot of what I call jungle that they can tear down and put in anything they want so if you don't know what the top four projects are well search the channel look for things like Laramar look for things like cruise on land look for things like Vista Cana look for things like Atlantida and that's not all those are the mega projects then you got to start looking at areas like Cap Cana like Los Corrales El Cortecito like Macau then you have to start thinking oh my god what about all the areas in between like downtown that they're just creating about a billion dollars worth of properties businesses destination for people from around the world to go shopping partying it is getting to be world renowned and i'm here all for it ladies and gentlemen but now you're not going to be able to afford this two years from now right now you can still afford to buy into these areas but let's keep going look at this these numbers represent an impressive 25 percent increase from 2022 25 percent ladies and gentlemen what happens if it's 25 percent next year it's going to be pretty close to that with August alone witnessing 784,284 visitors. Now, remember, they're including the cruise visitors as well. And, oh, I thought it was 8 million they were looking for. They're looking for 10 million visitors, Mark. That includes the cruise, which means we are looking for 8 million by air. Again, that's going to happen next year. All right. Now, look at this. This is beautiful little yacht area. Secret, what's the secret? Well, let's just call it stunning beaches, delightful weather all year round. If you wanna call that what it is, they have world famous beaches there. Now, you have to remember August was allegedly the lower season, all right? Just keep that in mind. Look at this, Punta Cana, Samana, La Ramana are mentioned here. Hoping this isn't playing in the background here. How do we get this off? Well, we will find out once I record it. I can't hear the music if it's playing. Now, here we are. For example, San Domingo, the country's vibrant capital, recently announced plans to add 900 more hotel rooms to existing 8,000, solidifying its status as a cultural, historical, and business hub. Well, guess what? Punta Cana has like four or five times that amount of hotel rooms. But that's because there's a lot of all inclusive spots. All right. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. You got the latest news and updates. And I can't find what I'm looking for, really, is that the it's very interesting. I was looking for the actual numbers and the breakdown. Oh, I know why I couldn't find it here. I can't I can't forget about this. Right. We got to get this as the actual breakdown of the numbers, because I'm like, where's the breakdown? We will go here. Seven million visitors in eight months. Here's the breakdown. He reported that 784,284 visitors last month. 665,082 did so by air. 119,202 arrived by sea just in the month of August. Once again, these are all time records. And just so you guys understand something, air passengers for the first eight months is 5.5 million. To be exact, for everybody on podcast, 
5,544,778 tourists. 5,544,778 tourists and 1,535,213 cruise passengers is what that should say we are talking about eight months we received seven million seventy nine thousand nine hundred ninety one visitors 31 percent more than 2019 136 more than 2021 25 percent above last year if this is not even a record give them the qualifier said Collado. he's right because the ultimate record is going to be broken this year for every month it's incredible he also stated that the general occupancy in august exceeded 70 percent despite being in what is called low season no longer is is uh, june july and august low season in the dr ladies and gentlemen even with the rain even with the summer humidity it's no longer one of those places where people leave starting in like june and don't come back till like december people are staying there apparently and traveling there every month which is record breaking and once again he's talking about the 10 million visitors will be reached so if you guys do not invest in the dominican republic don't worry i've been talking about this for over three and a half to four years now we will have a trip there you guys will know about it it's going to be somewhere between november 5th november 6th we're going to be going over there with ssn lifestyle part of it will be ssn lifestyle part of it's going to be all people who are invited to come to go check out real estate in the punta cana area we're going to have some of your favorite realtors meeting over there with us in a environment where you can ask questions where we'll go to the ridge at at Laramar City and Resort. We'll go to Cruise on Land. They should have their center set up by then. We'll be going downtown by Nestor. Mr. Astacio will be taking us around. We will be talking to Johan, who will come in and talk about it. So be prepared for November 5th or 6th for two or three nights. Just pay attention over the next week or two as we get this set up. There will be a cost if you are part of SSN Lifestyle to get in the SSN Lifestyle event. But again, we are going to have a group of people coming over there for real estate investment, business startups potentially. You don't want to miss this, ladies and gentlemen. That is for sure. And all I can tell you is make sure you pay attention to the SSN Lifestyle and SSN Nation videos going forward because it's going to be a big boom over there. And I'm so happy that a lot of you, over 50 members of the SSN Nation, have bought property in the Dominican Republic. Not just in Punta Cana. Some people are in Sasua, Cabarete, Santo Domingo, Boca Chica, Samana, Las Terranas. They're all over. La Ramana as well. So once again, you pick what feels comfortable for you but there's only a few places where you can buy something for fifty thousand dollars such as in macau which is going to be one of the big places in the next two or three years that's going to be under development you can buy villas for under a hundred thousand still all over the island think about this but the area you should consider i keep saying it If I know 60% of all tourists coming to the Dominican Republic are landing in Punta Cana, I think I need to be in that area. That's me personally. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here. But hey, if somebody tells you you can put down 10%, no credit check, no qualifying, and then make payments while they are developing the property. And then you put down that 30 or 40% while they're de- building the property, building your unit. And then after that time, you're going to pay 60 or 50% to then take control of the property. Would you go for that? 0% interest for the first part of this and then of course you have to get a loan or you have to have cash in order to pay the rest which means there will be interest due how does that sound to you and with all that said keep your head up keep moving and i'm out